Today, we're gonna take a look at Bitcoin and what is likely gonna happen over the next few days. We'll take a look at the Bitcoin dominance as well, since that is extremely important for all coins. So if you are also an altcoin investor, make sure to watch until the end of the video. And guys, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any updates. So what is really going on with Bitcoin, guys? There is a lot of noise and chaos in the market, fears of recession, inflation, the new consumer price index report, which is coming up on July 13. There's definitely a lot going on. But today we're going to try to simplify the technical analysis. So basically, Bitcoin is back above $20,000 and we're likely going to get one of these three scenarios. We're either going to get a double bottom, a double top or sideways consolidation. So let's go ahead and begin with the double bottom scenario. In this case, we come down here to the $17,500 level, then we try to move back up. And once again, Bitcoin pulls down a little bit lower, but the price stays above this previous low. Therefore, we now get price action moving upwards once again. And if Bitcoin rallies above this neckline over here, we are going to have a price target, which is around $26,000, guys. And this is a measure price target. In the case of a double bottom, all you have to do is measure from the neckline to the lowest point and then you bring this up here to the point of the neckline and this is how we get that price target. What about a double top because this could also turn into a double top which is a bearish pattern. In that case we have this low and this high then the price pulls lower once again. We try to move higher but we put in a lower high guys. In this case the price is likely to come back down lower and once it goes below this low at approximately $18,500 we would have a price target down at $14,000. I think this makes a lot of sense since $14,000 is also the price target from a zigzag correction and that is using Elliott Wave Theory. Okay, so, so far we have $26,000 thousand dollars as the bullish price target fourteen thousand dollars as the bearish price target what about sideways consolidation or just ranging price action in that case guys we would likely get just something like this where the price of bitcoin bounces along support and resistance multiple times until eventually we have a decisive breakout and I mean at this point since Bitcoin is really oversold on multiple time frames here we have that on the daily the RSI just recently went as low as 20 that is 10 below oversold so I am more bullish than bearish of course we should always consider all scenarios like I just showed you guys but I really believe we're due for a bounce Bitcoin is due for a relief rally at least something close to our 50 moving average which is the blue line and that is once again $26,500 we have multiple ways to kind of reach the same price targets at least for the immediate short term I like to look at this moving averages as magnets right for example right here when Bitcoin was in an uptrend and then the price goes above our blue line we keep rallying above it but eventually we come back down to retest it right so this is basically like a magnet like gravity once again price action rallies above our blue line and we come back to retest it in the same way now that we are in a downtrend this blue line will also act like a magnet just like it did in this case here we came all the way down to approximately forty two thousand dollars and then the price rallied back towards fifty two thousand dollars that was pretty close to the blue line at the time now guys let's go ahead and take a look at the bitcoin dominance this is a liquidity ratio that compares bitcoin versus all coins so why is this called the bitcoin dominance this is gonna show us how strong bitcoin is in comparison to all coins therefore right now bitcoin accounts for about 44 percent of the cryptocurrency market that is most of the market's capitalization is actually in all coins guys so in theory for the most part when the bitcoin dominance goes up all coins go 
down. This tends to be the case in a bear market or when Bitcoin is rallying aggressively. But also when the Bitcoin dominance goes lower, this usually causes altcoins to pump because more money is moving into altcoins than Bitcoin itself. And so this is how I look at this Bitcoin dominance. It tells me what investors are doing in the cryptocurrency market. It tells me whether investors are paying more attention to altcoins or Bitcoin. But basically, guys, we have had some brutal corrections. And even at this point, we still have the Bitcoin dominance below the 50% line. I'm going to be honest, I would have expected the Bitcoin dominance to be much higher at this point, but it is not. So this is definitely interesting, guys, because, of course, there's always the narrative and the theories based on previous cycles and overall concepts. So, however, I understand that the market is always an ever changing. Therefore, we're just bound to see things we have not seen before. What am I trying to say? Well, I don't know what's going to happen here with the Bitcoin dominance. Like I said, I would expect it to go higher in an overall bear market. However, we have been falling down, but we're still above this previous high, which is around the area of 43%. Now, if for some reason the Bitcoin dominance continues to move lower, even as Bitcoin recovers, this is going to be a really interesting scenario because I am sure that if the Bitcoin dominance loses the basically the 39% support level, then the 35% support level, guys, we are going to have an altcoin season if this happens. I don't care about recession. I don't care about what's going on. If we have a breakdown for BTC.D, get ready for altcoins to pump. I'm not saying that this is going to happen or that I'm more biased toward this happening. I'm just explaining how things should work out if we end up seeing a BTC.D breakdown so you guys let me know in the comment section below i want to know what you're thinking about do you believe bitcoin is going to be able to rally to 26 or 28 thousand dollars or do you believe we're more likely to come down to the fourteen thousand dollar support level also let me know your thoughts about the bitcoin dominance let me know your personal predictions are we going to continue moving upwards or are we getting ready for a colossal breakdown? If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated, as always. Also, consider subscribing so that you can remain up to date. And if you guys have any questions about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, all coins, make sure to join our Telegram community in the description below this video. And you can send me a private message there. And I'll see you guys later.